Hey everybody, this is Nathan from Trafford Watches and today I'm gonna show you how to attach the steel mesh strap uh, that some of you guys ordered through the Kickstarter. Um, attaching it to the, the watch is a little bit different than, than the other straps, but it's still fairly straightforward. Um, but I wanted to show you how to do it anyways. So your strap, uh, excuse me, your watch is gonna come on a leather strap. Uh, you take it off, you just have the quick release pins. Just pull down on that on both sides to take that off very easy um, and then to attach the steel mesh band well let's take a look at it first um, the steel mesh band is not quick release uh, it uses standard 22 or excuse me 20 millimeter uh, pins uh, you, that'll come with your watch and one of these little bags you'll have a separate bag with quick release ones that are for the nylon strap that comes with the watch so take these out of there uh, and set those aside for now. Let's take a look at the strap. This is exactly how you'll get it uh, as well in this bag. I set it to the shortest size uh, when I send it just so it fits better in the box. Um, but this is two pieces. Uh, you take it apart. You uh, undo the strap by pulling up on this lever here and then you pull up on the next lever in there and then it comes right off. So two pieces for the band. You can adjust the size while it's on the watch or you can do it uh, while it's off. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it on uh, just so we can see how to do it that way. Um, this is the top piece uh, with the, the, the smooth buckle. So you'll find 12 o'clock on your watch, uh, flip it over and that's where that goes. Now this is the hardest part of the entire thing is getting this uh, strap connected to the watch because it's not quick release. Uh, it just wouldn't work with this one, unfortunately. Um, so you're gonna need a strap tool, uh, which I'm guessing if you bought the, <laughs> the steel mesh band, you probably already have one of these sitting around. If not, they're dirt cheap on Amazon uh, or a bunch of other places. Um, so the easiest way I've found to do this because uh, it's kind of slick in there uh, with it all being steel. As you'll see, it just kind of slides right out. Uh, so get it in there and then just get it into one of the sides. I like to do the further one like that. And then this is going to be hard to see on the camera, uh, but take your quick release or take your, uh, your strap tool and just grab one of those ends. I'm going to try not to flick this thing across the room and snaps right in first time let's see if i get lucky on the next one too uh, so make sure you have the back of the strap like that uh, you'll see the stainless steel on the back there grab your other pin put it into the strap and then get one side into one of the lugs and then take your strap tool and oops, there we go take your strap tool and grab the other side and push that into the other pin there we go and we're attached awesome looks pretty cool so you're going to want to size this thing um, like i said i put it to the smallest size to uh, make it fit well in the box. So obviously this is not gonna fit on my wrist right now. So if you wanna adjust the size, yeah, not even close. If you wanna adjust the size, this is where you do it. You have this side uh, with the, the, the little guy that flips over. And there's this other little area in here as well you have the bar here and that's what the other side connects to i'll show you that in a second um, but right next to that bar you have another little flap type of deal and you can use whatever you want a screwdriver uh, your watch strap tool works just as well here um, but just to get a little leverage you can stick it underneath you'll see that hole under here you can stick it underneath there 
and kind of push against, I don't like to push against the middle of this bar because it can bend it, uh, but I like to push against sort of in the corner. You can see that flap just raising up. This isn't gonna be the easiest thing in the world and it really shouldn't be because if it was easy, it would be falling off your wrist all the time. So once you've raised that little flap there, uh, you can see that inner flap. This thing moves freely up and down on this strap. Uh, if you flip it over onto the back side, I'll try and get it in a good light here. You can see there's these indentations on the back side and a little notch here as well. You'll feel it kind of catching on there and that's to help you figure out uh, which notch is best for your wrist. I know where mine is, it's at five. So just count four or five up there, and you wanna stop it right on there. And this next part, you might be able to do it with your fingers. You might need to push on it with, you know, a, the eraser end of a pencil or something, um, just a blunt object to push down on that flap. You get it in place, and then you push down on that little flap, and it will click right into place there you go, you'll hear it snap, and now it's locked, not going anywhere. Uh, so that should be uh, where you wanted to put it. So let's try it, you put it on your wrist, and then to connect it, I'll try to do this where you can see it in the camera. Uh, remember that bar right there that you're gonna connect to? I'll show you this side actually. This is the other side, the buckle. Side. You have this big main cover part, and then on the inside of there, there's this little catcher thing, and that catches onto that bar we've been looking at. So when you put on the watch, uh, you flip it over, and you'll see the bar sitting right there, and you just want to catch the inside of that flap down there onto that bar first, like that, and then you just push down on that one and then bring over the safety and you're done. So that seemed a little complicated, but it's <laughs> not as hard as, you know, the, the steel bracelets with the, the different links that you gotta change each one until you find the right size. Um, but this is sort of a nice little alternative to dress up the watch a little bit. Uh, I think it looks great, it's got sort of a metal tire tread almost feel to it that keeps it sporty but dresses it up a little bit. Uh, uh, so that's pretty cool. It comes in black as well if you uh, if you got a black watch, black case watch, uh, and ordered the, the black mesh, that will match pretty well. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks guys.